Oh yes, we're gonna have some fun today, brothers and sisters. I just got to Charlie's house. We're gonna have some fun today. Here I have an ASCAS Mopar W2 small chamber, 20216 valve head. There you go. The old rocker stand set up for a Jessel type uh, valve train. And I have an Econo head here that had some work done to it. Guy got a little overzealous. That's okay, we all try. It's an Econo version because these cast in pedestals will take the rocker bar and uh, a stock exhaust I think is possible. Some guys say, oh yeah, you can get a, uh, a, a 340 rocker arm on there from the mechanical sides, but uh, it's better to get the better offset units. And it has a much larger chamber. I don't know how many cc's this one is. I don't know if it's been milled or worked or played with, but we're gonna find out at a later date. And I have no idea what these valve springs are besides. Pretty cool, thinking heavy duty. I'm sure this was on a roller. Now, the last time we had the W2, uh, uh, I'm sorry, we had the M1 tunnel ram. This is a W2 version with the oval port, a Mopar street, water heated intake manifold. And it happens to have an ABS 750. This one has a 750 AFB, and it's the Holly Street Dominator. They're very, very similar. And I'll do a little tour of that. This intake manifold is Mopar's Race M1 single plane, and this one's actually designed for a short deck W. Uh, sorry, a sh short deck 9.2 high block and W2 head. So everybody here has oval ports today. And we're gonna take a little peek and put them on the flow bench and see what we can come up with. So this ought to be fun. Hopefully I'll learn a little something about splicing some video together because we're gonna be here a long time doing this. I don't think there's any way we're gonna get it done in the next few hours. So might be dinner at Charlie's house tonight.